Hello, hello, it is Tarot Tuesday. I have a very cool spice up that we're gonna be doing today with uh, cosmic dice and regular dice. So like I play a lot of video games, um, sorry, not video games, board games. Um, and I basically have collected a bunch of them and I've learned how to like manipulate the numbers with cosmic dice. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. And then I'm also going to do just one tarot deck because the information that we're going to be pulling out is just going to be very universal energy that's going on right now. Okay. So we're going to start off with red dice. All right. So the heart chakra. Woo, girl. Double fours. All right. Everything's okay. So we know that the numerology is telling us four means okay intuition when it gets doubled you are being protected right now ah we have the subconscious moon node on top of that too very good energy right now just chill if you've been freaking out we're gonna use black dice for this for the uh sacral chakra right now ready 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 another double four <laughs> I'm not even making this up right now. All right. So still everything's super juicy for everybody. Just, you know, we might be dealing with some emotional stuff that's also tied to the intuition. And that's like normal. We just came out of a Mercury retrograde. We just have to kind of be patient with ourselves and understand what's actually going on in our lives. Just kind of observing letting go we're transforming right now everyone is going through this like really profound state where we've been analyzing things we've been kind of like just naturally saying hey i'm not this this version of me anymore we're stepping into your new embodiment of new earth it's not even that you're stepping into new earth because you're in it you're just literally starting to embody that a little bit more solar plexus we have a four and a two, so this has to do with our third eye as well. So with the double fours, we know that it's tied to the heart chakra, but four plus four equals eight. That's your transcendence chakra. We are transcending something in the astral four, all right? And if you're in the chakra mirror, of course, you definitely know what I'm talking about. So four plus two, your sacral chakra and your heart chakra, okay, are producing the same vibration that equates to your third eye and that third eye is connected to your solar plexus which is telling you another energy of saturn you've been having to look at things that are pretty dark or deep inside of you and they're in your subconscious and there are things in your mind and maybe you've been feeling like brain zaps or you've been feeling like your dreams are really intense or you you're just not sleeping as smoothly as you used to that's because all of these things are happening right now to switch you out of your reality every moment you feel uncomfortable is actually a moment that you're shifting in reality and it's super important to pay attention to right now we're going to use dice for the heart chakra we have another four just your your solar plexus and your root chakra are aligned with the uranus energy and again another subconscious node it's telling you there's a lot of shifts that are going on right now even in your heart chakra maybe you've noticed that you're letting go of some abuse that's happened to you when you were a child or maybe you're letting go of not valuing yourself most importantly maybe you've had to come to some truths about loving the universe that you never really thought about and they make you feel uncomfortable blue dice for the throat chakra double threes okay double threes here at the throat chakra telling us our throat chakra and our solar plexus and our third eye are all in connection right now finding something most likely to do in the mental mind the subconscious the solar plexus is tied to the subconscious okay it's a gateway to that it's also a gateway to divine feminine three six nine the sixth chakra is tied to the third eye so then 
the third eye and the throat chakra are tied to the subconscious and shadow bodies. It's like a wiring of a car. So when you look at the dice cosmically, we're starting to understand concepts again subconsciously about love and like our relationships and who we really are and what that's meant to us all up, up, up until now. We have a five. Your solar plexus and your sacral chakra are trying to understand love again with the uh, third eye chakra. Finally, we have the crown chakra. It's all leading us towards abundance and ascension in general. So very good energy so far. We're just going to be using one particular dice set. Uh, sorry, tarot deck set with the dice. <sighs> Root chakra. It's telling us that we are in our victory. We are coming to that point where we've created what we want and it's happening. It is moving right now. You should be seeing those manifestations happen. Whether they're small or they're major, you've been noticing that something shifted in your reality. Maybe you feel like you're just living in a dream most lately. This is why your abundance is completely secured during this moment. You don't have to worry about anything. Just like align yourself with whatever it is that you want to be. And don't be overly ambitious. Be realistic still. For the sacral chakra, union to contentment, okay? Staying positive is the main thing right now that's happening. And all of the things that you're looking for are going to align themselves, whether in relationships that you were, you've been focusing your attention on right now, or it's basically like your business or some other form of growth. It's happening already. Don't worry about it. Oh man, your solar plexus. Your solar plexus is the sun, 19, transformation and joy. So maybe you've been noticing things have been hard and like you've been having these internal shifts, but it's all for the better. It's all towards ascension. The sun on the sun, it's great. And at your solar plexus, your mind is getting freed. And when you look at the sun with the solar plexus dice, and these components right here, Saturn is change. It's also tied to the third eye. Then we have the subconscious, 369, the, thir the third eye connection still. Then we look at the four, which is our astral body, and two, which is our emotional body. We are literally quantum shifting multidimensionally right now. Then at our heart chakra, we have seven with uh, like the horse thief, which says like we're basically making major moves right now that's going to lead us to the maximum success we've already gotten there we're moving there all we have to do is trust in the process and let ourselves go with the flow in patience with our throat chakra morning coming upside down telling us success after hard lessons learned the number three is also telling us that the masters are inspired to tell us intuitively through the third eye or the sixth dimension that we are bound for success. We have that positivity that's bound to us. We are going to be successful in harmony. We're going to have that union while we stay positive. And the victory to our personal uh, material abundance is completely secured. And here we have the third eye as well. So wait, one, two, three, four four five yeah so this is the third eye actually that last card was the uh throat chakra i apologize so the throat chakra being in alignment still with these components of the chakras here yeah yeah de definitely that's still in alignment so here at the third eye we have another component right here our solar plexus and our uh sacral chakra we're lighting up another subconscious node contentment still this contentment with materialism look at that our our third eye and our root chakra are both sixes okay that's the kundalini energy victory towards contentment is literally being flashed right in front of you right now okay if you're gonna look at all right 
the seventh chakra. The seventh chakra is tied to um, right now the hoisting coyote, which is Loki. One has to do with manifest. Okay, so let's look at um, one, four, seven. We have six materialism and like abundance and things of the material seven to do with harmony and one we're manifesting okay so here you can see how the universe is really working towards you a lot of subconscious shifts are starting to manifest themselves consciously for your reality to take form all you have to do is stay positive stay in harmony and keep thinking outside of the box i'm now being instructed by the ascended master tarot deck Kind of like bring out a couple answers. Whoa. White ego. I am the door of peace. That was last week's major card. He flipped himself over. So we're going to put that at the crown chakra. We're going to put in Lady Nada. I open myself to the greater family. White Tara. I may compassion guide me. Oshun, I love myself. El Moria, guide me to my master within. Merlin Saint Germain, guide me to my magic, my inner magic. Kathumi, I open myself to the source of all that is. So these energies are really like and con they're, they're conducive like your materialism and like your abundance and your security is tied to you opening yourself to the source when it comes to your sacral chakra and opening yourself to inner power and contentment and union with the divine you have to open yourself to your inner magic third eye uh, sorry solar plexus the sun opening up more passion and joy in your life this is guide me to my master within right now is a mastery point of your reality with yourself the heart chakra is going to be tied to oshun i love myself right and being able to think outside of the box and find that harmony my comp may compassion guide me hearts through hearts uh lessons after full success has been accomplished third eye I open myself to the greater family and I find contentment within my material realm. Here you see white eagle. I am the doorway of peace while I think outside of the box and I manifest. Finally, we have it's tell I am a warrior of consciousness. This is the main energy that's happening today. I'm being instructed to pull one more. Serapis Bay. I release the creativity from my heart. I'm a warrior of consciousness and I release the creativity of my heart. All right. So these are the energies that are really just like taking form right now. The reason why I didn't do a, t a regular Tarot Tuesday is because of the fact that this is just a generalized energy like if you're in this tribe right now this is where you're at okay you have made strides throughout rather the healings that you've been getting in in the researcher tiers or the material that's been provided to you your own journey in general and the things that you have taken yourself like the opportunity to be open to to understand that's the most important thing right here is understanding that opportunity to be open okay sending you all my love this is Sunday master on high